All right, here's something I wanted to share with you guys in hopes that uh, it might help somebody. Do you ever get a, kind of a funny smell from your toaster? Uh, or, you know, it's just not working right. Well, a lot of people know that if you look at the bottom, there's a little tray that you can pull out, and generally it's all full of crud and stuff, and you just take it over to the sink like I did here, and empty it out. Yeah, that all came from this toaster. Now, this is not going to catch everything. So, what you can do, after you've unplugged it, of course, make sure it's unplugged, and you take it over with two hands, preferably. Not so easy with one. And turn it upside down in the sink and shake as much out of it as you can. You just, see the pieces falling out of there? Look at that. Of course you can't because I ain't got it focused right, but there you have some. You get the general idea. So you get pieces jumping out of there. Now, if that doesn't entirely work, you can open it up. And typically, do you have these, um, what they call it as a security screw type this is a, a three point if i can get to focus okay that's a little better but a three point not typical it's not the standard phillips or a flathead not a torque or anything else you try to get any other pieces in there and it's just not going to work this one somebody was nice enough to take them all out for us ahead of time so you don't have to sit and listen to it. Now, I got I got this uh, kit. don't remember how much it paid for. It wasn't very much. Plus, you get the discount and everything at Harbor Freight. Got all these different bits. You know, there's different there's torque bits and the, the other types of security bits and such. The ones with the hole or without. And, of course, the standard Phillips and a few other types that... Uh, aren't very standard just like that three bit there's four different ones there so we take all of those out and lift everything up out carefully it's not going to be real easy to do but i'm not going to completely take it apart there but you can see there's a connector there that'll come off and you know, in this case I don't really need to pull it completely apart then I'm gonna just take it back over here and shake it some more get everything out of there that rattles because it should not rattle you want all the crusts all the bread particles and pieces out of there set it back into place sometimes you get this little connector there that this lighting's not real good is it that's because i'm standing in front of it but little thing there then you put all your screws back together now it helps sometimes these screws don't come out even with a magnetic screwdriver It doesn't quite fit, so it helps sometimes to have a magnet or 20. These are just little neodymium magnets that I put together, keep them all together like that so I can use them when I need them and know where they're all together. And then you just, just it, and you just put it in there and pop it out. And you got the screw easy to come out and then once you uh, you have all that said and done cleaned and ready to go you can wipe it down you know with a rag outside and everything it's already taking care of everything there but the general idea you get make sure that you put the tray back in 
loosened all the screws, which I will do here momentarily, but then you will have a nice, clean toaster again. It won't smell, it won't catch fire. The only thing rattling in there is a little um, electronic pieces, and that's fine. But everything else is kosher, and it'll be good to go. So, hopefully that will help you. If you can't pull it apart, don't, it's no problem. That big a deal, but it's nice to get all that stuff out of there. Just pull the tray, turn it upside down in there, clean it, brush it. Don't brush it. Don't put any water. Don't use anything down inside. Don't stick anything down in there. Those very delicate pieces, and they can break and burn, have, cause all kinds of problems. So don't mess with that. But uh, just uh, get as much crud out of there as you can. And of course, Lucy says hi. Don't you? You little butt, you. You're just too ugly to be cute, aren't you? Are you too cute to be ugly? Well, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Huh? Are you a pretty girl? Yeah, that's a good baby. All right, well, my shadow says hi and bye. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Please subscribe, like, and share. I appreciate you much.